Today I am in the heart of downtown Toronto, just outside of Dundas Square, and today I am going to be trying out Shake Shack Burger for the first time, guys. And there is a lineup outside, and this location at Young Dundas, the first Shake Shack location in Toronto, Still is getting a lineup outside and it opened up back in the summer of 2024 So I'm gonna get in the line. I'm gonna be having their burger and I'm gonna be doing a review of their burger this evening guys Let's see how this one goes. So it wasn't much of a wait guys I'm inside and upon entry they do give you a menu. So while you're waiting in this god awful lineup get to decide what you're going to be having and I'm definitely going to be trying their hamburger because apparently that's the the reason that they came to Toronto. They are a U.S. based restaurant and this was their first Canadian location and this week I heard that they're opening two more new locations in Toronto so let's see what I'm going to be putting on this hamburger. So their burger is a 100% Canadian Angus beef blend, fresh, never frozen, and raised without antibiotics or added hormones, and a shack burger in cheese, lettuce, tomato, and shake, shake sauce. The single is $8.49, and that's Canadian, and I'm going to be trying that one out. So I ordered my Shake Shack burger, guys, and they give you this vibrating machine so that when your order is ready, it will vibrate, and then you can go and pick up your order. Guys, my buzzer just went off. And my order is ready somewhere here. So there's my burger, guys. It comes with lettuce, cheese, tomato, and of course, I added pickles. And the bun is cold, so they don't warm up the bun. The burger looks like it has been hit by a truck. And the tomatoes, I don't know guys I don't know so let me so they gave me two pickles and I'm pulling this apart so you guys can see and that is the burger there okay and the patty itself is not what I anticipated so it seems like it's in like a flower shape there and you have this shake sauce so presentation wise and I'm gonna put this burger back together guys presentation wise I'm going to be giving it a 2 out of 10 for presentation. I'm kind of surprised that the bun is not warm. So presentation, guys, 2 out of 10. So hopefully, and it's a bit cold. It did come in this paper bag, which is odd because I asked for takeout. So you think for takeout, they would put it in something that would keep it warm. But nonetheless, guys, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. So let me have a bite of this. Goes, okay? Was not impressed with the presentation, but maybe I'm being fooled here. There you are. Sloppy little hugger. smaller than I anticipated for some reason. I don't know why I expected it to be bigger. But... made with a potato bun guys and the shake sauce is quite nice actually I'm actually surprised how good it tastes Not the best. 
best burger I've had. But it's good. It's good. I think the potato bun actually makes the difference. But if you have an appetite, I would strongly suggest you get two patties. And I only got one patty because generally I don't like to eat that much. But it's actually the potato bun is quite fresh. The hamburger, the patty, the Angus beef is just really good. Not the best burger I've ever had. Yet. Not even close. But it's okay. It's okay. I don't know if I come down down to have it again, but you know what? Might as well try it, eh? I don't know what's going to I'd say a 6.7, a 6.7 out of 10, guys. It's not the best burger I've ever had, but it's surprisingly okay.